The Communist Party in China has wrapped up its week-long National Congress, which Xi Jinping said to be named on Sunday to a third term as secretary, as general secretary of the party. It is the most powerful position in China because the leader of the only ruling party also controls the government and the military. In a sign of his tightening grip, Mr. Xi could also be given a new title. Let's bring in uh, CNN's Beijing bureau chief, Stephen Zhang. Uh, Stephen, uh, tell us, uh, so the, the Congress just wrapped up? That's right. Uh, there was actually a bit of a high drama, at least by Chinese standard, uh, during the closing ceremony. In videos and images, we actually saw former Chinese top leader Hu Jintao, who is Mr. Xi's uh, predecessor, uh, got let out of the room uh, accompanied by uh, two male staff members in the middle of this ceremony. Now, who was uh, seen having a brief conversation with the two men and appearing to be reluctantly uh, let out. And before that, he also uh, seemed to have had a brief chat with Xi Jinping and uh, then patted on the shoulder of Premier Li Keqiang on his way out. Now, because of the opaque nature of Chinese politics, we are not clear about the circumstances surrounding this very surprised a uh, uh, surprise moment, and actually uh, state media here has not reported this at all. And as soon as we started talking about this, the Chinese censors blocked CNN signal here in China. But um, it is just quite an uh, unexpected moment in this usually highly choreographed event. But other than this moment, it seems uh, things have gone relatively smoothly for Xi Jinping according to his plan because uh, uh, the delegates, the 2,300 delegates also uh, selected a new central committee. That is uh, nominally the party's leadership group. I believe we have a graphic to show our viewers of the party's power hierarchy. This 205 member uh, group is uh, going to now meet for the first time uh, on Sunday and then they are going to select the, uh, uh, the next, uh, the innermost circle of power, uh, the 25-member Politburo on Sunday. And it, it is from that group they are going to further select the uh, seven-man group called a Politburo Standing Committee. Always men, no women have made it into that group. That seven men uh, are really uh, forming this uh, top decision-making body of China. But of course, uh, in another break of, uh, with recent convention, Xi Jinping, who sits atop of everything, is no longer going to be considered the first among equals. He is really the one man whose decisions matter, who's calling all the shots. That's also why uh, during the closing ceremony, all the delegates also, uh, quote unquote, voted unanimously uh, to change the party constitution to further elevate his position and stature and further elevate his governing philosophy by adding some of his favorite terms and phrases like common prosperity and uh, fighting spirit, not to mention they have also approved that lengthy work report he delivered last Sunday. Uh, and as if you notice closely, there are some very clear signs he's going to, uh, uh, he's likely going to uh, change the party's top priority, shifting it from uh, economic growth, which has been the case for decades, to national security. And some analysts are worried that that is a further signal that he may uh, reallocate resources to prepare to move the nation onto a long-term war footing. That obviously could have global implications. Leila? Stephen Zhang uh, reporting live from Beijing. Thank you so much.